Hey guys, Ryan from Beginners Tech here and today I am going to bring you another review of a ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300 International version and the ROM we're going to look at today is Rohit's new RGUI uh, version 11 ROM. Um, I've been using Rohit's ROMs for a wee while now, mainly his MIUI ROMs, um, but I was very intrigued to give this a try, the RGUI ROM, um, as I've been hearing a lot of good things about it in terms of stability and speed. And he's added a lot of new tweaks in version 11, which is pretty good. So let's go ahead and have a look. Um, stock wallpaper here, guys. I mean, the scrolling is it's lovely. Nice and smooth, no lag, perfect. And let's start off by having a wee look at the drop down menu here. And we have quite a lot of toggles here, which can be changed. And I'll show you how to do that in a wee minute. I've accidentally put on flashlight. So that's pretty good. Um, let's have a wee look in our settings. Um, we'll have all our standard ice cream sandwich settings here, guys. Alright, and let's go into about device just so I can show you what's happening. It's for the i9300 and it's running on 4.0.4 .4. and the good news is it is running Saya kernel S3 which is a great kernel guys, nice and smooth, no lag, um, simply wonderful and they bring lots of updates for this kernel which just keeps getting better and better and it's RGUI version 11 and it's Rohit from XDA developers that cooked the ROM up for us guys okay uh, others we have LED indicator built in to settings as well which is new uh, which allows us to set different coloured LEDs for all different notifications I'll just there's loads guys, you can have a wee look at that, let's more settings, um, we've got our NFC, everything, just nice and stock, lovely. Um, so, next thing we should probably look at is our apps. <coughs> two new apps, two new apps, well one new app and one that was already in other versions guys, but I'll talk to you about both of them. First of all, let's have a wee look at RGUI Kitchen. This app here is going to let you change everything from within the ROM. Um, it's going to let you do themes, modems, kernels, apps, everything. Okay guys, so I'll just let's have a wee quick look through it. Click on ROM and you can check for ROM updates, share your ROM and you can donate to Rohit guys. Um, he's obviously paying to host his ROMs on his server guys, so buy my beer, you know, it's, it's, it would be nice. Um, apps, you can flash Google Drive, Play Store, Google Now, DSP Manager if you want. We've already talked about DSP Manager on some of our other videos and it's probably worth flashing um, if you like tunes, guys. Um, you can flash your LiveDroid patch, patch sorry, straight from here. You can flash kernels and there's quite a lot of kernels included. Um, Saya kernel is awesome, guys, um, but another kernel that's pretty good is Franco. So, um, speed mod's good as well. I'm not going to say that they're not good guys, but Franco is a nice kernel as well, just from personal experience. But that's what modding's all down to personal experience. You have choice of two modems, flash themes as well, straight from here, guys. This is all compatible themes that run perfect on here, so just click the download. You can customise the theme that you've already got. Um, by flashing, example, 15 toggle buttons, green icons, which is your toggles up the top. You can change batteries, everything, guys. So you can even get your circle batteries straight from here as well, which will change it up here, which is really good because they're quite popular. Um, ST tweaks, I'm going to show you next. We've already got it, but that's there anyway. And you can see your installed apps and scripts here. And that's already got some settings as well, as you can see. 
you can set auto check for ROM updates. Um, but raw heat usually you're better probably watching uh, his thread on XDA because he's really good at keeping everybody up to date with what's happening. Alright guys, so that's RGUI Kitchen. The next thing we'll look at is ST Tweaks. I really like ST Tweaks guys because there is a lot you can, a lot of customising to be done in here. Um, your CPU, GPU, audio, screen. Um, it's really good. So let's just have a wee quick look through here. Um, and I'll show you everything you can do. You can change scaling levels, CPU, you can change single core, dual core, triple core, quad core. You can undervolt, and you can change your max frequencies for scaling and your minimum frequencies as well, guys. So, um, just bear in mind if you're messing about your CPU and if you're upping things, etc. Um, this will change battery lives. Um, the way it's set up as standard, the battery life is crazy. It is really, really good, guys. Um, so, just bear that in mind if you change it. Okay, GPU, you can set GPU frequencies. Um, you can voltage levels, you can change thresholds. A lot to be changed. Audio is the same, you can change amplifier, headphones, 3D effects, equaliser presets. All can be changed from within this app. Screen, lots of changes can be made here as well. Boost levels, AC charging and miscellaneous, USB charge, and you can actually change all that. You can remove root from within this app if you wish to do that. And you can check for updates and flash kernel. Alright guys, ST Tweaks is another app that you can donate to. Um, so it wouldn't hurt just to make a wee donation guys because we need to support our developers because it does take a lot of time and cost money to build ROMs for people. Um, so it would be nice to do that. They've included a, Rohit's included a jelly bean gallery as well so that we can have all the jelly bean wallpapers guys um, everything clockwork mods here everything else is pretty pretty normal let's have a wee quick look at the widgets so we have all our widgets here you would expect to be there Camera works flawless. Um, few more settings added into the camera settings. Shot a sound on and off. A couple of effects you can have: black and white, negative, none. Just your normal shooting mode. Flash. Um, camera works perfect, guys. Um, so don't worry about that, I'll just get a message through, typical. Um, so, I think that's pretty much it guys. Um, if you want to see the full list of what's included in the ROM, just check out the link in the description where you can download the ROM. Um, if you haven't rooted your Galaxy S3 yet and it's something you're thinking about doing, um, go on to www.beginnerstech.co.uk um, where you will find full instructions on how to do so. We've got a competition on at the moment as well guys, where you can win yourself an otter box for any handset you wish. So all you have to do is go on and like our new Facebook page. And as soon as we've reached our first 100 likes, a winner will be selected at random and they will receive a brand new otter box for the phone. Okay guys, so I just want to say a big thanks to Rohit for cooking up all the ROMs and spending all his time doing so. Um, it's, really, it's really appreciated by the community. So thanks for listening guys. Um, rate, comment, subscribe 
and I'll talk to you again soon.